2024 Amerika Birleşik Devletleri Başkanlık Hüçümlerinde Demokrat Parti'nin aday adayı Cenk Uygur, Batı medyasına İsrail yanlısı davrandığı için tepki gösterdi. İsrail'in yaptıklarını terör olarak tanımladı Uygur ve Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'nin Tel Aviv yönetimine desteğini de eleştirdi. <gülüyor> When you drop a bomb and, and, a, and a kid's head explodes and a grandmother is incinerated, that is terrorism. Killing three times as many civilians as Hamas is terrorism. And it is the same if it is done by a government. 2024 Amerikan Başkanlık seçimlerinde Demokrat Parti'nin aday adayı ve The Young Turks isimli haber programının sonucusu Cenk Uygur dünya basınına bu sözlerle seslendi. Ünlü İngiliz haber spikeri Piers Morgan'a konuşan Uygur, İsrail'in katliamının daha yeni başladığını söyledi. I think the real bigotry here is saying that Palestinians we can kill three times as many of them already and this is the appetizer Netanyahu and his barbaric government have not even started the entree of murder and death and mayhem they're about to do and that's somehow okay killing three times as many Palestinian civilians. Cenk Uygur İsrail'in Filistin'i işgal sebeplerini de sert sözlerle eleştirdi. The Palestinians are what? Are they what? The idea is that they are savages and that Muslims are too violent and cannot control themselves so they must be occupied for 56 brutal disgusting years so i've had enough of the bigotry against Muslims and Palestinians Türk asıllı Amerikalı haber program sonucusu İsrail'in Gazze'de gerçekleştirdiği korkunç saldırıları anlattı Dropping bombs on residential buildings. 50 ambulance, ambulances have been hit. 10 out of 25 hospitals don't operate anymore. The incubators are about to run out of energy. There's 45 babies that might die today. The parents I just read on CNN are writing the names of the kids on their calves, on their legs, so that if they are killed in a bombing and they're mutilated, they can find their bodies. Imagine writing the name of your child on their legs so that you could find them in the rubble after Israel or any government drops a bomb on them. And I need the West to understand something. Bombs kill people. And do you know how they kill people? They incinerate them alive. Or their heads explode. 2024 seçimlerinde Demokrat Parti'den aday adayı olduğunu açıklayan Uygur, Amerikan Başkanı Biden'ın İsrail'e maddi desteği de kapsayan bütçe teklifinin sadece savunma şirketlerine yaradığını söyledi. They're already crying uncle, but it's never enough for the bloodthirsty Netanyahu. No more death of Palestinians, more babies killed. That's what his answer is. And it's this and the United States of America, I'm running for president here. There's no way in the world I would allow this. Sending 105 billion dollars. That's and it doesn't even go to Israel, Ukraine, or Taiwan. It goes to the defense contractors that are get that bribe these greedy American politicians and then get most of that money. And so